to Terry and Hadnisa, you worked with Omar from the Mars Volta on that one. Yeah. How did that collaboration come about and how was he to work with? Um, I met Omar in Japan at the Fuji Rock Festival and uh, you know, he, you know, he, he's just sort of a gift from the gods. He's very radical in, in many ways as a musician, as a thinker. And um, I, uh, I, when I was thinking about my record, I, I didn't know. I, for a second, I thought, oh, maybe I'll need three producers because I, I felt there was so many. There was these three distinct personalities to sort of to my emotional nature and and they're all contradictory you know there's sort of this rock and roll animal this very vulnerable haunted um, woman and then this sort of soul uh, very guttural um, expression and I thought I needed and they're all in different songs on the record so for a second I thought shoot who am I gonna find that could could really manifest all this musically and um my tour manager at the time was like why don't you talk to omar and ask him to produce a record and i was like no, he's never gonna be interested in me you know <laughs> i was like he's you know i thought he's he's too good for me and and um i finally two months went by i called him and we we completely bonded over he because he sees music in a similar way like very visual very rich with drama and and, and um, we really, we bonded over Fellini movies and we were just talking about cinema. And then also, I just sat, said how I really wanted to focus on groove. I wanted to change the, the, the rhythm and the groove of the music and grow songs from there. And also have the guitars be a bit more trippy, a bit more psychedelic. And of course he understands this language. And, um, and then, so we, we first we were like, oh, we got really excited. And then I went to see him in Brooklyn at his studio. And I played him my demos because I wrote, wrote a few songs on piano for the first time since I was nine. <laughs> so that was like very terrifying to, to play for Omar, Mr. You know, guitar genius. And uh, he listened to them and, and loved them. So if you were to sum up the record for people and say just five key words, what five words would you use? I would say a little pixie that lives in the jungle and plays with the elves and wrangles the animals and sets the whole world on fire and then makes the animals run for their lives. And that's the album. <laughs> that was not five words. words. No, that's but, a story. Yeah, maybe we can pick pixie jungle. <laughs> pixie jungle bowl. It's everything that's on the cover of the record. It's basically a pixie jungle bowl, um, feathers, sky. There we go. That's five. Uh -huh. That'll work. Barren landscape. I don't know. I'm going into the great unknown. That's what Terra Incognita is. It's unknown territory, and that's where I wanted to go musically, emotionally, sonically. So, before we go, let's talk a little bit about next month. You're yeah. coming back. You're mm. going to tour. Looking forward to that? I am so looking forward to doing our headlining tour. It starts in the US in one week, and then we come over to the UK and Europe in mid October. And um, I really, I just get so excited because I'm so in love with the music and the way it's sounding live. And my band is, is really eclectic and diverse uh, uh, and very groovy. And I think everybody should come and check out the live show and just, just to see my band. They're pretty special. Killer. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thanks. Good luck with everything next week when the tour kicking off, and yeah. we'll see you soon. Yeah, I'll have had some sleep by then, so <laughs> whatever. And you head back and uh, check out the video because it's uh, going to be live on Roadrunner UK very soon. Yeah.